To submit to employers powered by Appulate, we're going to start with our accord form. At this point, you would have downloaded Appulate Uplink, a print driver needed to get the information from your record form into Appulate so that you may submit to employers. There is two ways to use the Appulate Uplink print driver. The first way would be to open up your record form wherever it lives. For me, it's on my desktop. For you, it might be in an agency management system. Point being, go ahead and open up that Accord form. You can see that it is fairly complete based off of the information that we would have for our insured. So let's go ahead and click the print button in whatever Accord view that we are in. Make sure that Appulate Uplink is your desired printer driver. I will point out that if I expand my printer driver list, I have more than one printer driver available. So please make sure that you are selecting Appulate Uplink as your desired printer. Once Appulate Uplink is selected, you will click print. The system is going to begin processing the accord form. And shortly, we are going to receive a pop-up from Appulate asking us to validate our Appulate credential information. This is what the pop-up you will receive will look like. If this is your preferred workflow, go ahead and fill out your information for Appulate and simply click send. In addition to the use of the printer driver of opening up the Accord form and clicking print like we had just seen, there is also a shortcut that many agents like, and so I do like to show it. Here is that Accord form we were working on. I'm simply going to right click and select Appulate Uplink from the shortcut menu. You can see we received the sign pop-up. So there is no right or wrong way to use the Appulate Uplink print driver. It's simply a matter of convenience. So now let's go ahead and hit send. Once we hit send, it will open up Appulate. And now we will confirm that the line of business we would like to work on is workers' compensation. This is recognized as because the Accord number that we uplinked is the Accord 130 being the work comp accord. Now we will click continue. We will hit straight to adding our market. Go ahead and hit the plus sign that says add market. I'm going to select employers and hit add market. You can see all the duplicate data from our accord form has automatically been bridged over. But now that we've added employers, we have some visual indicators here that are provided to us that is letting us know that we need to add additional missing and required information to our submission in order to submit to employers. There are two ways to kind of identify these missing and required questions. We're gonna go ahead and hover over the orange A that we can now see in the middle of the screen. This letter indicator stands for pending acceptance. And this is giving us a list of live and dynamic links that are clickable for us to finish out the missing and required question. So let's go ahead and click the first one. It's going to then give us a pop-up asking us to confirm the liability limits that we're looking for. We're gonna go with a million today for our example, and then click close. That's now taking care of the first set of questions. If we hover over our letter indicator again, you can see the live and dynamic links are also here again in the uh, orange A for pending acceptance. The same set of questions is also contained within the submission tab. So for example, in the subject section, the red one next to the tab indicates that there is one missing and required question in this section that must be uh, provided information on before we can move forward. So in this instance, it is attached to our payroll and rating section. We know that because the red indicator is outside of our table. I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow next to the first location. And we're going to have to add a subclass code for employers here. So I will type in 8017 and choose a sub class code for us to take a look at. And as we've answered that missing and required question, the indicator has disappeared. If we hover over the letter indicator, that question no longer shows up in that live and dynamic links list. So as soon as you answer that question, it will eliminate itself from the view. Now we'll move to the underwriting section. Any question with the indicator, of course, is going to have to be answered. Uh, for multiple questions, like if the general operations here has a group of questions and they both happen to be no, I do, would like to point out that there is a mark all no button on the far right-hand side of the screen that you may utilize for those instances. 
So now I'm going to move through the submission, simply answering those missing and required questions. We'll click next now and get to the coverage history section, looking for our last missing and required question. And now we have gotten exactly where we want it to be, which is receiving this green A for accepted. Once your risk has received this green A for accepted, please then submit to employers by going to the actions column on the far right hand side of the screen and clicking the submit button, the big green submit button on the far right hand side. Once we click submit, this is submitting the risk to employers. We're going to confirm our limits, click submit. And now the system is going to be able to provide us with an instant bindable quote for our insured just as you would have received it if you were to quote directly in the employer system. So here is our quote. We can go ahead and click that, open it up. It does download as a PDF. Please review your quote just as you normally would. If you have any questions regarding products, you will still want to direct those to your employer's representative. I will point out that if you do have any questions regarding the training of the Appulate system, please contact Appulate for training. If you are ready to bind the quote, you can see we now have a new letter indicator that just says we need to provide the detail information for our insured. So I'll go to the policy tab, scroll down, you would provide the email address. And we need to add a contact record. So we'll do that by clicking the plus sign. Now this is add new. We'll click the drop down menu and then select our individual. Need to add their email address for this individual, a business phone number. And we need to add the included and excluded information. We're looking for a title. So I just expanded that arrow in our included excluded section. We would add that title. We'll click the quote parameter question. Just please confirm your payment plan from the quote parameter section, just as you normally would. You will accept the coverage and click close. Once you have done those things, you can now see that the bind option is green. It's exactly what you wanted to receive. You would then click bind to send that bind request to employers. And that completes the entire quoting process for employers in Appulate. Again, if you have any questions regarding products, employers' products, you will want to direct those to your employer's representatives. However, if you have any questions regarding training on Appulate, please feel free to reach out to support at Appulate.com. Thank you so much for watching our employer's training video today powered by Appulate.